As we get closer to the 2024 Republican presidential primary, Donald Trump is going all in for a knockout blow in the state of Iowa. What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back in with a new video today. It is time that we talk about the 2024 Republican presidential primary. And as many of you probably know, Donald Trump's campaign has, relatively speaking, been very quiet on the ad front. Now, they haven't been 100% radio silent, but they've really not spent that much in the Republican primary, right? Let alone the general. With that being said, however, Donald Trump and his campaign just a couple days ago have finally began to spend significant money into Iowa advertising. Not, not like... $100,000 here or there, you know? We're talking about a decent amount of money being poured into Iowa as we speak. And it appears the Trump campaign, despite what DeSimps are saying on Twitter, they are looking for a knockout blow and what is supposed to be DeSantis' last stand. But first, before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, Hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for a dollar a month, you could join Real American. This is the best way to support the daily content that we all know and love. So I hope and recommend you join the channel today. Alright everybody, now let me be clear. I'm not one of those people that are saying that, you know... Trump's going to automatically win Iowa by 90 now, all right? I'm not saying that. But with that being said, so much for that theory that secretly Trump has given up on Iowa. Yeah, that was a legitimate rumor being pushed by these disimps on Twitter. I'm not even kidding you. They had sources saying Donald Trump has given up on the state of Iowa and making his final stand in New Hampshire. You heard that right. Supposedly the campaign gave up on Iowa, despite Trump doing several events in the state. Now, I, now to be fair, it isn't the amount as DeSantis, Haley, or others have done, but he's still doing a significant amount of events, considering the fact that, you know, he's up by 50 or whatever. And that's what I'm saying, everybody. This theory that Trump was secretly down in Iowa and he's given up on the state is so just insanity. I, I don't know what you even call it. Delusional, stupid, insane. I don't know. And this just proves a theory that no, Trump's not giving up on Iowa. If he was giving up on it, he would not be spending this much money on the state. Now, people are going to say now, oh, well, that just means Trump is, you know, scared that he's going to lose Iowa. No. He's just making sure that DeSantis cannot make this last second, you know, mystical surge that the DeSims claim he will. But it's like, well, you went from claiming Trump has given up on Iowa to saying Trump is scared of a DeSantis surge. It's like, wait, what? You just said... DeSantis was secretly up. Now you're saying that he's scared of a surge? What? It's just Trump putting money into the state as one final knockout blow before the Iowa caucus. He's trying to get as big of a lead as possible so when he wins, it can be a record amount. And he use that to demoralize any kind of insurgent candidate. That's what this is really about. Not some secret conspiracy where... DeSantis is secretly up. But let's get into it. With less than 50 days until the Iowa caucuses, former President Trump's campaign is making a major weekly six-figure advertising buy in the Hawkeye State. Marking one of the first times a campaign will go up on broadcast TV as the early GOP frontrunner takes a big step in seeking to fend off rivals. In a preview of two ads set to air in Iowa, First show with ABC News. The campaign plans to attack President Biden in one and tout Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds' past praise of Trump in another. And I think this is genius. You know, the first one, obviously he's going after Biden. He's more than likely going to be the Democrat nominee. Hit him. 
Hit him with everything you got. Tell people he's been an awful president. And say what you will about how much you like Trump or whatever. He was factually a, best, a better president than uh, Biden is. There's, there's no metric to indicate that, no, secretly, Biden's far better. There's none. And for the second one, I think this is just pure genius. So these DeSimps on Twitter and saying, oh, the Kim Reynolds endorsement's going to magically help uh, DeSantis. When in reality, it's hurt DeSantis, funny enough. So you know what Trump decides to do? You know what? Use past praise from Kim Reynolds. To completely nullify any any kind of semblance of a DeSantis momentum for the endorsement. I mean, when you had Kim Reynolds praising Trump that much in past rallies, that's not even an overstatement. Yeah, she flat out did. I mean, just that one ad alone had like two minutes straight of her praising Trump. I think that's genius. Because Kim Reynolds, yeah, her popularity has sunk. She still is well-liked among most Republicans. So it's like, if this endorsement really mattered, wouldn't it just make sense to counteract that by the fact that Kim Reynolds praised Trump 24-7 just four years ago? Though Reynolds endorsed Trump during his previous presidential bids, the relationship has been on thin ice after Trump lodged attacks on her during the summer for her once-held position of staying neutral in the Republican primary. Well, that's not necessarily the problem. The problem with what Reynolds did was she was a neutral. She was pretending to be an, oh, I can't endorse anybody because I'm the governor of Iowa. But she was only doing 70 events for DeSantis every day. But then she officially endorsed him. Oh, that's going to cause a surge. It didn't, mind you. But still, it's not a good look to praise Trump for five years then completely abandon him. And now, oh, I'm going to support DeSantis and all this stuff when I was secretly neutral. That's why Trump's not happy with her. And people just think it's some conspiracy that, no, he's just mad that she backed, um, she is backing uh, DeSantis. That's not true. There are many Republicans that Trump likes that, are endor that did endorse, or not necessarily endorse Trump, but may have endorsed DeSantis. There's been a few of them. And Trump's not going after them scorched earth. He's going after somebody like Reynolds when she tried to play this fake BS of, I'm neutral. She endorsed Florida Governor DeSantis earlier this month, arguing she cannot sit on the sidelines any longer, and calling him the person that we need leading this country. Her support gives DeSantis a potentially important boost in a state where he trails Trump by less than he does nationally. He trails Trump by 30 in Iowa instead of 50. Congratulations. It's been a month. There's been no mystical surge for DeSantis. Nothing. In fact, the polar opposite. He's gone down. But sure, I'm certain that the surge will happen any day now. Guess what? It won't. The TV spot features a montage of Reynolds applauding Trump and his administration's policies at previous rallies. Additionally, as Trump continues to downplay the competitiveness of the Republican primary, which he continues to lead by double digits according to 538's average, which they're trying to make it sound like it's only like 15 points or 10. He's up by 40 to 50. In order to focus on a potential rematch against Biden, his campaign plans to tout Trump's commitment to the military depicted Trump as a strong leader. A senior Trump official tells ABC News the new ad spending reflects Trump's commitment to winning Iowa, where he has campaigned with much less fever than his primary opponents. The former president will soon increase his campaign schedule in Iowa and other early voting states, including New Hampshire, Nevada, and South Carolina, the official said. Which makes sense. He's not going to spend his entire life in Iowa because he's up by 50. It's like, yeah, he's, he's doing events, but... The DeSantis campaign has done like 500 of them. He's still down by 30. So either way, folks, this kind of just debunks the theory that secretly uh, Trump is down in Iowa and he's given up on it, which was always ludicrous. But also shows that Trump's campaign, it seems like ad-wise, they're better than they were in 2020. I mean, they're focusing on, oh, 
Kim Reynolds, you endorsed DeSantis? Well, here's five minutes of her praising Trump just before she uh, DeSantis ran for president. You know, here's just five minutes of it. I think that's really smart. And not even attack DeSantis directly. Just say, hey, Kim Reynolds, she was a big Trump fan until suddenly it wasn't. And she backstabbed everybody, lied to everyone when she was claiming to be neutral. I mean, the fact that people think that she was always a neutral person is just ridiculous. It was clear in even as early as August and September that she was clearly favoring DeSantis, just she wasn't public about it. But who knows? We just gotta see what happens, but it would be kind of funny if Trump spends like a million dollars in Iowa, you know, ad-wise, and he goes up another 15 points. It's possible, but we just gotta see what happens. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash a like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Thank you all so much. Godspeed. To all of you.